it's almost lunch time. You know what that means. There we go. Bye now. Yo, Issa. High hey, school boy football look this season. People, them ready, you know. All right, then. Pick up. Money cup. Hold it for your shield. You make we link up. We watch the champions cup. Ben Francis Parker Cup. Which team are win the championship this season? Yo, Issa. Papa Van Dyke school. I got finished the league and beat now. Which two that got collect the golden boat and be the favorite for the people? Yo, Issa. We see fans are roll out all boat. Flag pan vehicle, looking at the crowd, but loan as support us from school and community too. People not finna stand some of the plan real they must have watching my TV too. Country and turn your life we want to A war of attrition is at hand. Isa, school boy, good man, good come, look one, look on. Which team are the best and I go better than the rest of the fire team beat your chest? Isa, school boy, good man, that team could rise and that team could fall. But the never will know until the whistle blows around, come enjoy the show. Yo, Isa, that competition I never have it nice up. People love see when boys I get nice up on the field. Angola score from far and them never with peaceful and the youth now. Yo, it's a school boy football, no local, the youth. I move on to international big league And I still beat the heart But remember which party start It's a school boy football Good job, look one, look all Which team are the best And I got better than the rest And if I hear team beat your chest It's a school boy football A team could rise and a team could fall But they never will know Until the whistle blows around Come enjoy the show It's a school boy football A team could rise and a team could fall But they never will know Until the whistle So if that doesn't get you amped up for the upcoming season of Issa Schoolboy Football, then I don't know what will. The official launch of the 2024 campaign took place at the National Stadium East Field Wednesday evening with several notable personalities in attendance. But it was the Issa president, Keith Wellington, who stole the spotlight. I'm going to also say something that may not be politically correct, but I'm going to say it anyway. We don't necessarily get the credit that we deserve as an organization. I know many of you do give us our credit for the tremendous effort that we put into getting schoolboy football and our, our other sports off the ground. But sometimes we make decisions that are in the best interest of the human development of our student athletes. Because for us, we are involved in development, but our first responsibility where development is concerned is with the development of the human being within our school walls, not with the footballers. So when we, when, we, when we pass rules, it is about protecting the psychosocial aspect of the student. I want to say, for example, to the JFF, that it would be nice when our national youth teams are named, you recognize the schools that these young men come from, because we invest so much in them. And no disrespect, Mr. Speed and other club owners. When a young man turns up to attend national training, the first place he goes is to his coach or his principal to say, Sir, I don't have a boots. Or, Sir, I need fear to go to camp. Give us a little respect and at least say that this boy played for Clarendon College or Mona in the ISA competitions. Because the truth is, without it, as bad as Jamaica's football is now, it would be worse. Mm, Keith Wellington, president of ISA. And uh, I gather that Mike Ricketts, who is a president of the Jamaica Football Federation, was in attendance, Mariah and Ricardo? Mm. He wasn't? No. Um, I think he virtually. joined virtually. He was, yeah, virtually. Yeah. He wasn't physically there, but he was part of the launch, virtually. Mm. Well, I think um, the ISA boss is onto something. He's just he's just asking for a bit of credit. 
um, for the work that goes into it's a schoolboy football competition and as you can see every year it gets bigger and better so I don't think Lance um, based on that sound by that we just heard is asking for anything too much I mean just to attach the name of the school to the player you know let people know where the player came from it's not asking for too much so I mean I don't I don't see a problem with it yeah, it would be interesting to know if there is a policy on the part of the Jamaica Football Federation as to how they recognize um, affiliates, I, I guess you could put it that way, in this case. Um, because, of course, for senior football, then it is always going to be the clubs. Um, but because you have at the high school level, at the youth level, the players represent high schools, but they also represent clubs. Um, and so what is it exactly that the Jamaica Football Federation um, recognizes? And I think in, in this instance, it might just be Club. that the JFF does not recognize schools because schools do not directly um, fall under the Jamaica Football Federation's umbrella. And so from that standpoint, when they name their youth teams, um, then they recognize the clubs because those are the teams that fall under their umbrella. So I do understand what Mr. Wellington is saying because the truth is, in terms of the players, we know the players mostly from the high school system. Yeah. Um, we, we know that this guy was the left back for Clarendon College or was the central midfielder for Glenn Muir um, or played forward for Mona High School. Um, and uh, that's just the truth, but having said that, I think you also have to understand from a Jamaica Football Federation standpoint and the bodies that they do govern and they do not govern high schools. And therefore, it is unlikely, in my estimation at least, that you are going to see that going forward, even though the schools would be very much deserving of it because of the type of input they have in the development of these youngsters. Yeah, not only the input of the development, Ricardo and Mariah, but as Keith Wellington just mentioned, when they are called up to national trials and have to enter a camp, he's suggesting that the schools assist the players in, in funding their participation in these camps for a national program. So that is part of the weight of what he's using to, to make his point. Of course, Keith Wellington was a part of the slate that lost the JFF elections um, when they challenged uh, current president Michael Ricketts. Yeah, but we shouldn't, even with that point, and I'm very sure that um, Mr. Wellington is spot on, but we shouldn't automatically assume as well that they are not clubs who assist with that as well when yeah, the players get called up to national program yeah. and, and it could well be a, a combination yeah, so I, I think, think we have every... to be careful in yeah. that regard mm. and, and the fact is it is it is unorthodox i don't know of globally situations where national teams are announced and the federation attaches a school to the to the player as a, a formal press release so what wellington is suggesting is from my knowledge unorthodox i'm not saying it can't be done but it's not orthodox yeah as i said again i'm not saying it can't be done either mm -hmm. but again the jamaica football federation does not govern schools yes um schools don't fall under the umbrella of the jamaica football federation they fall under the umbrella of the inter-secondary school sports association so right. if isa um, was naming an all schools team, which they do every year, then they would attach yes, um, the, the, the school's name yeah. beside the players. The JFF, in naming a national team, will recognize the clubs because it is the clubs that fall under, under the purview of the Jamaica Football Federation. It's as simple as that. As I said, the schools would very well be deserving of having their names being attached because of the type of input they have, but not all the times when you are deserving of something means that it is protocol to do it. Yeah, mm -hmm. well, what's for sure is the first match will be um, kicking off on September 7. We're excited for Issa Schoolboy Football. I mean, that song has been stuck in my brain from the ever... Um, ever since it has been released, I know a lot of the words that maybe even word for word, I'll have to check myself and see if I know it word for word. Can't wait to see what our young schoolboy footballers have in store for us this season. And You're remember, going to Montego Bay for uh, the opening day? 
I'm not sure yet, but I have made a promise to myself that I'm going to attend a lot more matches this season. Okay. All right. You could start in Mobe. That's a far one, Ricardo. It's not. Okay, I will go to Mobe and I won't do the show for that week. Are you all right with that? For that week? Week. Because I'm so, going to Montego Bay. I'm so going to have need, to go to the so, beach so, one so, time, right? So, so you need... You I'm going to go to Montego Bay and just watch a match and come back. I might as well have a little mini vacation and you can do some work. Yeah? All right, we're going to take a quick break. Remember, it's the schoolboy football right here on your home of champions. We're taking a break. He'll think about that and then we'll come back with interactive. <laughs> <Would that try? laughs> Competition and never have it nicer. People love see when boys are get nice up on the field. Angola scores from far and them never with peaceful and the youths now. Yo, it's a schoolboy football, no local. The youths are move on to international big league. And I still people are but member which party start. It's a schoolboy football.